What's up, everybody? We're going to be doing the Aquaform Druid Quest for Classic World of Warcraft. You have to be at least level 16, and I am currently level 20. So that passes 16. That means we can go ahead and do this. I want to do this in two ways. Uh, one's going to be post-edited. I'll kind of want to do a real quick two to three minute instructional clip video, whatever, on how to get this done. But obviously you guys watching the stream won't see that. <laughs> and then after that, if you guys choose to do it this way, I'm going to have the follow me along version. Or just, you know, the version you have playing on your side screen or your phone or whatever else. Where literally we just do it together. Bow chicka. So that'll be the, the quest in real time. Anyway, here we go. You have to be at least well, level 16 man. to get your aqua form. And that is a lesson to learn, boys and girls. A lesson to learn. Go. There we go. First thing you do is you talk to our buddy Turak Rune Totem, as you just saw, pick it up, and then teleport to Moonglade. Once in Moonglade, we go to our familiar little building here and talk to our good night elf buddy. Here he is, Dendrite Star Blaze. A lesson to learn. The time of testing is now. We gotta go find a shrine bobble in the lake. Now, 30 minutes is your time limit on this. It's plenty of time, honestly. Uh, even if you don't know where it's at or what you're looking for, 30 minutes is enough time to find it. You don't even have to stress over this, boys and girls. No stress. This is honestly such a pain in the butt quest in the long run. Like, for example, if you guys, uh, post editing, if you guys were to watch that instructional portion, the first two, mini two minutes of the video that I do a little bit later on, showing you guys kind of how to get it done, uh, it's going to look super easy. And then now, here you are doing the follow me version, and that's a little longer. All right, so, let's see, where was this thing? Fissure, let's get some air. That's the sound of us getting air. All right, I remember it being in one of these crevices. There it is. See, that wasn't bad. It was not bad at all. Took, what, like t a minute and a half to find it? <clears throat> you got 30 minutes to find this thing? Not even tough. Not even tough. Alright. Opening up on the map for you guys. It's literally, for me anyway, right under the U. I'm not 100% sure if it's always there. I think it actually can move. Uh, but, anyway. 30 minutes. Plenty of time. You've got little air bubbles, air pockets you can use in this lake. I know another spot, at least I'm pretty sure if it can move, another spot I can go is like down here under the E. Alright. So now we take this to the Shrine of... Rimulus. Probably need to get some like wicked music in the background of the do it with me video. But, no, I think I'm going to just leave the World of Warcraft music nice and peaceful. Plus, it'd be too much of a pain about to try to get that music out and put that, put some other music in. So, there you go. Deer in zebras sounds so loud. 
and this new client in the official World of Warcraft classic client. All right, so here we are. Shrine of Remulus on the map right there. Very obvious, it's right next to the town. It is northwest of the lake. You run up to Remulus' little tree thing here. Right click your uh, shrine bobble. Viola, done. And then the lady we gotta talk to, here we go. Complete your trial. Time continues to slip away, so speak with Tell me, me quick, now. let's go. Trial of the lake, done. All right. Now we need two half pendants to get this next part done, and this is the doozy. This quest is actually very tricky. Let me pull this up. They give you two, it's the pendant of the sea line. There's two pieces of it, right? And they give you kind of directions on where to go. Um, to form the two halves, da -da 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 -da. you need to be in the proximate, uh, proximity of the Shrine of Remulos to do this. All right. Find the half of the agility and find the half of the aquatic endurance. Speak with the residents of Moonglade to learn the clues as to where these items may be located. I already know where they're at, so ha! We're going to be going our way to do this. And it starts off with a hearth. Where's my hearth set to? Crossroads. That's not super convenient, but whatever. Should have done Thunder Bluff for this quest. But whatever, it's fine, it's fine. So here we are, crossroads, or wherever you guys hearth to. Basically from here you fly to Orgrimmar. What do you need? Go. Now I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys a couple secrets about this uh, pendant. There are two halves. And the first half that they want you to get, the easy half, which is actually in the Barrens, where we are right now, when you're holding that half, slows down your ability to swim. And that's why we're not going to go for the first half first. We're going to go for the first half second. It doesn't matter what order you pick them up in, but you want to pick up the second half first because you do not want to have that swim speed debuff when you got to do that the harder part, which we're about to do. You'll understand as soon as we get over there. I'm trying to think of that song. Come and take a ride with me. But I don't know that song, so I can't really think of that song. For all of you guys who are actually doing this, like the follow along version. Later, I think I'll do the same thing for the, uh, for the, uh, poison quest. I'll do, like, a under two minutes or an under three minutes version, and then a follow along with me version. <laughs> Welcome back, Mage Hunter! Good to see you, brother. Alright, so here we go. Am I gonna die if I fall off of this thing? Nah. Way too good for that. Ow! It doesn't tickle, though. So, Mage Hunter, what we're doing right now is we are doing the Druid Aqua Form quest. I'm going to get the Sea Lion Form. I 
Oh, also, I got a new uh, talent. So, I'm going to go ahead and put it in Feral Swiftness. Now, you'd think, oh, he should go cat form, so he speeds this whole process up for us. No, no. I'm going to go ahead and, uh, since this is going to be the follow along with me portion, where a lot of players probably would be sea bear form, yeah. Probably would be level 16. They wouldn't have cat form yet. So I'm going to go ahead and walk it out the good old-fashioned way, as if we're level 16 to get this done. Because I'm going to edit this video when it's all said and done. Like right now, we're streaming Mage Hunter. But I'm going to do this video in two portions. I'm going to do like a how to get the sea lion form instructional video under two minutes. And then I'll also do a full version where it's follow along with me, which is basically just this portion of this stream clipped out and just running so someone can have it in the background or on their phone or whatever and they can literally just follow along. <clears throat> Hello, Mr. Orc. Tuna salads. No zep goes to Thunder Bluff, that's true. No train goes to Thunder Bluff either. Only a flight path. Near, far, wherever you are. I don't actually know the song, and uh, you're welcome. You're welcome, everybody. I know that was pretty epic. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. You're welcome. Where'd that little orc go? Did he just fall off the boat? I'm, I know I'm going to end up telling this story a lot of times, but I had a friend that was hilarious, to me anyway. He would duel players right up here. Uh, or start the duel down there or whatever. I don't know. When the Zeppelin would come, he would duel a person. And then he would mind control them right before it takes off. And then jump. He would literally just jump them off of the Zeppelin make them miss it. He got so much hate for that. It was like such an early troll. 2004, 2005. It was great. I actually think he was a troll priest too. I'm not 100% sure on that though. It was great. It was epic. Loved every minute. You guys can't imagine the amount of frustration people threw at him because, I mean, waiting on the Zeppelins is already kind of a, uh, especially in today's, like, society or mentality. No one wants to wait on a freaking anything these days. No one has patience. That's start of what, that's kind of what brought about the, uh, the new mentality for World of Warcraft. No one's got any patience for waiting around and doing this, that, or other. Putting a group together? What is that? You gotta be kidding me, right? Oh no, that's that's how we did things. Let's see, is there a shortcut I can take? No, I'm gonna have to ride it all the way to Undercity. That guy's definitely confused. <laughs> That's great. Okay, this is a good stopping point. Wee oh, this might hurt. <laughs> okay. In the uh, follow along with me version, you might not want to jump off of that and die. Okay? Just saying. It's a tip. So, it's, uh, it's uh, not advised. As a matter of fact, it's probably not. I mean, it is still shorter, actually. It is a shortcut. 
but you might want to wait until you get over there and then fall off over there and then run over to here <clears throat> so uh, I'll just edit this whole death part out and no, I'm just kidding I ain't gonna do all that uh, remember World of Warcraft vanilla zero deaths everybody zero deaths and we're back see didn't feel a thing You know what? If I'd have jumped off and switched to cat farm, probably would have lived. I'm gonna laugh. Uh, if people are doing the follow along with me, and they're like, oh, he jumped off here. I'm gonna go ahead and jump off here. <laughs> and then they die too because of it. <laughs> oh man, that's great. I'm actually thinking about it right now. Son of a... This, this dummy made me fall off and die. <laughs> Get wrecked, everybody. Who does that? Leave a comment on the video if, uh, if you're one of the brilliant people that jumps off there and dies. <laughs> I hope I get at least... At least... I don't know. Three people like that. Now, this pendant is literally somewhere out in the middle of the ocean over here. So, that's, it's supposed to be really difficult for you to find. Uh, I know a little shortcut that kind of makes it easier. So, I'm going to... I don't know. It's, it's arguably easier. Whoa! What up, Victors? Thank you for the donation, brother! That's wicked awesome! I always jump way too soon. <laughs> that, that's that's me. It it totally it, it didn't happen. Although for two Canadian dollars, I'll I'll, uh, I'll jump off again too soon. Hell, this is pre level thirty, man. These these uh these repair bills ain't nothing. It ain't bad. <laughs> you like that? Oh, yeah. You ought to see the thing. If someone donates on Twitch what they see, it's great. I did uh, YouTube. I set that all up like... Um, I set that up like The Simpsons, right? Like a Simpsons theme. And then for Twitch, I set up a Deadpool theme. It's great. Just for funsies. Now there's two ways to go about doing this. I learned, uh, here, hang on, let me just put it on numlock here. There we go. I learned a quote unquote shortcut that I just, I like. But one of the ways it's advised you to take, uh, the normal way quote unquote would be you coming here, going along this road, going all the way out to the shore, and then swimming down to where there's a shipwreck in this area, and then you swim west. Spoilers. What I'm going to do is I like to go to the Sepulchre because then you don't have to worry about fighting mobs or anything like that. Especially if you're doing this at a level appropriate time because there's a couple of mobs over there that are kind of nasty. Including one like elite level 24 guy who puts a curse on you that does 200 to 300 damage every minute for 5 uh, minutes. So watch out for that guy if you're going to take the traditional way. But I'm taking the quote unquote safety shortcut. It's the safety dance. Do, 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 do. Copyright strike. Hmm. Come on, bear. I'm trying to move in ways that to get out of your way. It's too far away. Thank you, by the way, Vic. I really do appreciate that donation, man. That does mean a lot. You don't even know. I got busted up at work a few years back. 
2013 in February and have un been unable to work since. So literally you're helping to keep the lights on, my brother. All right, so for the little quick video, just showing you guys, here we are at the sepulcher now. This is the uh, tombstone, graveyard, whatever thing, the front, and then the gate in the back. Here is the shortcut, quote unquote, the safety shortcut that I like to take. Bouncity, bouncity. Now, like I said, normally you'd be asked to kind of go this way and then come out here, swim west. Now, you're going to take small amounts of fall damage coming down here, as long as you're not, like, taking flying fucking leaps. You should be okay. Just put a rejuve on or stop and regrowth if you need to or whatever the case may be. Oh. There's a shaman out here, actually. No, never mind. This is normally a spot where shamans do a quest. Right. Tor and Druid, you know it, brother! And we're doing our aqua form quest right now. We're gonna be turning into a sea lion here before too long. Ooh, oily black mouth. I didn't know my ex fiance's mom was out here. Oh! Just kidding. So, I don't actually know if that's much of a shortcut, but that's the way I like to take it anyway, so get wrecked, everybody. Let me go get this discovery. There we go. So, you come out here to the boat. You go just barely north of the boat. Literally just barely. wonder if we can spot that nasty. There he is. That That is the guy you watch out for. That is why we take the safety shortcut right there. That is Mr. Disgusting. He will wreck your face. He is painful. Okay. So here we are. Just barely north of the shipwreck. We're going to start swimming west. So, um, basically, you're parallel with the T, the top of the T, and great. And we're going to go out here to about when you start to see fatigue. So literally swimming out as far as you can before it becomes a problem. And then we're going to back up a little bit. This is the way that I like to do it right here. Now, you'll see we are between the shipwreck right here and the T. We're just underneath the top of the T. We're just above a fissure in the ocean. So what I like to do is I come down to this fissure, and we're also just about to the point where fatigue starts. And there's a few fissures out here. Fissure is such a fun word to say, isn't it? But I'm thinking that I'm going to have to deal with shamans. Hoard this. Yep. Looky here, a strange lockbox, boys and girls. Well, would y'all look at that? 
Now we have the first half of the pendant. See, that wasn't bad at all. But it is the pain in the butt part. And here's the real, the real quote unquote pain in the butt part. Right? The real part that makes this such a, a challenge, such a pain. Oh, wow. Okay. Watch out for elite sharks, everybody. Didn't, didn't know they were out here. <laughs> yeah. Be careful. Anyway, the real part that makes this a pain is if you had grabbed the quote unquote first part of the amulet first then your swim speed would be reduced by like, it's either like 20% or 33% or something like that. It's pretty ridiculous. But you have less swim speed. So, imagine doing that long swim right there while you're swimming more slowly. So, are you thinking about going Horde then, Victoys? Or are you going to go Alliance? Because when I played Vanilla way back in the day, I played Alliance. I was a Night Elf Hunter. And it was great. I loved it. But I decided in my second go through with the game uh, to go Horde, and I loved it even more. Unless you get stuck up on lore, because, you know, you're technically siding with the Forsaken. If you're like a roleplay kind of guy, it's really kind of difficult to justify siding with the Forsaken, because they kind of want to kill everything. You know? Make everything else dead. Those jealous bastards. Alright, so okay, here we go. Now we need to watch out for Mr. Scary Face on our run back. Because we can't take the quote unquote safety shortcut. Uh, <laughs> we can't take that way to get back. We, we gotta take the watch out for Mr. Scary Face way back. And he definitely roams around these woods. And he is Mr. Scary Face. Watch him pop out from behind one of these trees. I will shit my pants. Bring me my brown pants! That wasn't so bad. No way alliance, maybe paladin alt, but nothing else. I love warlocks and priests, which requires balls of steel. Ooh. As I'm not paying attention to where I'm going and collecting all these mobs. Uh, I don't know, I liked, all right, so I will say this. On my server, the first time, I played Alliance, and there was a shift. There were more Horde players than there were Alliance. But it wasn't, like, an overwhelmingly large amount more Horde than Alliance. Like, they did, they were the, the antagonists. They could, you know, come over and start ganking people. But we had enough people on the Alliance uh, that we could put up or shut up. You know, we could nut up or shut up. We could get the guys together... Um, uh, because Victoys, uh, Victoys is asking why not, why am I not going cat form and enjoying the plus 15% speed right now? I would, but this is, this is the portion of the video that's going to be a follow along with me for the sea, uh, sea lion quest. And since normally it's a level 16 quest, I don't want to be moving 15% faster for those guys who are going to put this on their phone or put it on their side screen or whatever else. And then, you know, follow along because I'm going to do this, how to do your classic druid horde sea lion quest i'm gonna do it in two parts like a two minute to three minute instructional video that just tells people here's what you do here's where you go here's you know a short video clip of me being there here's how you do this and then uh i'm gonna do the the uncut version basically which is literally just gonna be all of this including what we're talking about right now just this portion of the stream um and then someone could just put, it'll be a whole video on its own. And someone can just put that up on their side screen or whatever and follow along. I can imagine them like, you know, a, a little group of people following here behind me for future references, just kind of following around and getting their quests done. I think that'd be really cool for people who have a difficult time, like, you know, just real quick seeing it. Like, okay, this is what I got to do. I'm good. 
for the people who would, would like that extra, you know, extra step just to do it with them. So that's why. And I forgot what I was... Oh, so, uh, this is what I was saying. Er, my first time I played vanilla, I played uh, a Night Elf Hunter. And there were more Horde than there were Alliance. But it, it was not such a drastic amount more Horde that the Alliance were just, you know, pushed down and bullied all the time. Alliance could put a group together and push the Horde back if we needed to. If they raided or they were being bullies or whatever else. And we were the underdogs. And I enjoyed it. That, to me, on that PvP server, that was that was great. I loved running around ganking people or, you know, ganking. I mean, it was just me by myself. I loved catching people off guard, killing them. And, you know, that's world PvP. I, I absolutely enjoyed that. Because as soon as I'd kill someone, especially if I corpse camped them once with, um, like, shadow meld and an aim, aim shot to kill them a second time, immediately after that second death, there'd be, like, half a dozen hordies running around trying to find me. So I knew I'd kill someone, I'd maybe corpse camp them once. If I'm real close to a graveyard, maybe get it off twice, and then I needed to get out of there because there were going to be a half a dozen or more people searching for my ass at that point. So that's when you, you know, you take away everything and you don't give them any satisfaction in return. You, you leave. Later, when I switched to Horde, there were, it was, it was the exact opposite. There were more Horde, or well, I guess it was the exact same scenario, but opposite for me. There were more Horde than there were Alliance. And again, it wasn't like there were so many more Horde that the Alliance couldn't uh, fight back. They could fight back against us, but this time I was on the Horde, and I had the numbers that were slightly higher than them. So, I mean, we were being the bullies or being the antagonists or whatever you want to say it. And honestly, I enjoyed being the underdog more in terms of world PvP, but I enjoyed uh, being a Horde person more too. So, I mean, it has its ups and downs. I, I still, to this day, you see I'm rolling Horde because I had a good enough time on Horde that I loved it. And when I was first playing Vanilla on Alliance, there were a lot of youngsters, shall we say. A lot of kids that are, you know, wanting to play the superhero or whatnot, but at the same time, they're really youthful, they're really young, and they would be all about me, 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 I need this, I need that, need roll on this because I'm a jerk, and then start a giant fight if, say, they they didn't get the thing they were trying to get to sell to a vendor or to complete their second spec when you're trying to get your main spec items, etc. Wow, this Zeppelin worked out great. Pause the video, you guys, if, um, if Zeppelin's not there for you right now, and you gotta wait on it. Alright, assuming the Zeppelin's got there for you now, we're gonna go ahead and... Oh, poor guy. Near, far, wherever you are. I know, beautiful singing. You're welcome. Anyway. I lost my train of thought. I was saying something about Horde versus Alliance. Oh, that, that's right. So, on the Alliance, there were kids. Just, I, I had the under... The, the quote unquote pleasure of running into so many of those kids that I had like a, a, a I guess a blacklist for myself of people that I wouldn't run with because they were immature brats and they literally would make any kind of run just just horrible they were self-centered they, they tried to tell everyone else how to play their classes and their builds told them what they did wrong and the first time we'd wipe they'd throw a fit and either leave or just start bitching the whole time until we wiped again and then they left but on the horde it was a totally different mentality when i switched to horde much more mature players now obviously both sides and this could just be my quote-unquote experience everybody's gonna have different experiences but this was mine my alliance was very vividly youngsters and brats and whatnot at least a much larger amount of them whereas horde you know say i'd do something stupid and i'd wipe the group they'd be like eh, no worries man it happens you know just generally a much more accepting and much more mature group of players and i i loved it so that's why i'm forever hordy So wait, I never got a full answer from you then. What are you going to go, Vic? Are you going to be Horde or are you going to be Alliance? 
Just one word answer. Because you're like, no way alliance. That could mean, no way I'm going alliance. Or, no way I'm going alliance. Maybe a paladin alt, but da 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 da. I mean, it's all about how you would take that punctuation. I'm assuming you meant, no way I'm going alliance. I'm definitely going horde. Because that's the right answer. Hashtag the same. For the horde! Zub zub! I agree. Look at this little cutie. So, are you going to be playing on Oceanic servers? Are you going to be playing on, like, American servers? Basically, do you want to play with me? I've got a group of probably half a dozen guys for 100% sure that are going to be joining. And then I've got some other guys who just follow along part of the community through Discord and through the other streams that I've done that are going to join in as well. So, I mean, I don't know how many people for sure we've got, but I'm going to be throwing a guild together and we're going to be doing lots of fun stuff. It'll be great. So now we go to the crossroads. Oh, you're Canadian East Coast. Hell yeah. I'm in East Coast. I'm in South Carolina, brother. I'm either going to play East Coast or Central uh, time zone. Because depending on how many other people are out there that want to play with us. Uh, I might go central to kind of get a better ping for everybody. And I might also, you know, if we got a bunch of people who are overseas, I might stay east coast because they might get a better ping on east coast than uh, central, for example. Because then that's more landmass they got to cover. I don't know how that works. Basically, wherever the general player base gets the best ping. It'll probably be East Coast because we probably will have a bunch of guys overseas, like a bunch of Euros, uh, maybe even some Aussies that want to come join and play with me. So I want to get them a ping that's tolerable, not like 200 plus because that's ridiculous. Aussie internet's kind of bad, honestly. Like I have a friend um, who plays Morphe and... On the private servers, now granted, these are private servers, they're not Blizzard servers. She basically always played at 400-ish ping, 380-plus ping. And PvP at 380-plus ping, you're literally on dial-up. That's literally dial-up speed, and it's horrible. <coughs> Alright. So, for the purposes of the uh, quick video, you guys can now see that I am back at the Barrens. So, come meet me here, and this is where we're going to go from there. We're going to go up north in the Barrens, up to, what is that, Sludgefin or whatever? Yeah, Sludgefin. So, here we go. I'll meet you up there. And now, for the rest of us who are, you know, not like I'm actually editing the video right now, so you guys are just going to have to follow along whether you like it or not. Get wrecked at everybody else. <clears throat> I think it's a neat idea. 
to try to do this in video in two ways. I think it'll be a, a fun process, like to follow along with me. And I imagine most of those guys will have some kind of music on in the background. They'll just put the video on and literally mute my ass so they're not sitting here listening to all these silly ass conversations. And I guarantee right now, right now, there's one person in the future one person, at least one person, that goes, well, son of a bitch, why didn't I think about that? Mute, turns on music. This is much better. Why did he wait until this late into the damn quest to tell me that? Guarantee there's going to be one guy that does that, at least. If you're that guy, then I don't know why I'm asking you to put a comment, because I'm already muted. But if you were that guy, and for some reason you still haven't hit that mute button to turn your music on, let me know in the comments. That would be funny. <clears throat> I wonder what my frames are while I'm sitting here. Um, what was it? Alt F? I don't have a target. No, not Alt F. It was Control F. I need a no, target. Control R. There it is. So yeah, I'm recording and streaming and getting about a hundred frames per second. It's not bad. And this is on ultra settings. A lot of people have been asking, hey, what kind of settings do you need on your computer to run World of Warcraft now? And I ran World of Warcraft vanilla, like the original launch, on a Pentium 3 with millenn uh, Windows Millennium Edition. Windows M-E. Which is short for Windows, I need to be restarted every hour on the hour or I'm gonna slow down until you get no frames literally that Windows operating system Millennium Edition had a huge huge memory leak it was bad but anyway um, I'm on a much better computer now but you can still play this game basically on a toaster. Yeah, I saw 140 to 160 frames per second on some stream. And I honestly love the graphic improvements. Yeah, and this is the actual old school graphics is what this is. This isn't even the the newest... I mean, there are some, like the grass. You can see the physics, how the grass kind of moves when you run through it. That was not in vanilla at all. You can see the, the dynamic shadows. You can actually see, like, my shadow moving the way I move. And based on the light source, it's going to be opposite the light source. Not in vanilla. In vanilla, the shadows were... In fact, I think I can show you. Maybe get that done. Hang on. System. No, that would be... Yeah, it is system, I think. Graphics. Shadow quality. Low. Apply. Yeah, here it is. This, this is vanilla shadows. Right here. Well, not for the tree. It's just a little shaded circle. And that's what everything has. A big ass tree, a, a bigger shaded circle. That's it. Everything. Oh yeah, see the blocky blurbs, the little circle-ish kind of shadows. This was this was vanilla graphics. Oops, I just stopped. For shadows anyway. Let me turn it back up because I like the dynamic shadows. In fact, I use the dynamic shadows um, almost in PvP. I want to say. Like I've seen people fly over me a bunch of times with the dynamic shadows. Like, oh, that's a manticore. And later, when we're in contested zones, I'll be able to look and go, hey, that's not a manticore, that's a griffin. So then I'll know there's an alliance guy flying in. Alright. So now, you guys have caught up to me. We're over here at the Sludge Fin. Uh, we're at the south side of the Sludge Fin. And we are going to... Ooh, not get attacked by that Venture Co. guy. Hopefully. This is the easy half of the amulet to get right here. Oh, you son of a... Okay, okay. This is the easy half. The mercenaries over there going, easy half, easy half. I'll tell you easy half. What a bitch. Ah! We're trying to run. Thank you for the sword. It would probably sell for like almost a silver. Okay. So here we are. And what is this, you might ask? Strange lockbox. 
Razor Fin Downs, right next to the wood boards, just about dead center of the lake. And I'm an idiot. <laughs> Opening it twice because that's the cool. That's what the cool kids do. Now, this is the debuff one. Oh, I don't seem to have the debuff. Huh. This is the one that used to slow your uh, movement speed in the water. At least according to some people who played, some buddies of mine who played private servers. Maybe it doesn't do it on vanilla. Or maybe it's a bug. I don't know. Will you go away? So now, that we've gotten all that done, we teleport back to the Moonblade. <clears throat> this is the part that's going to be a pain, because either people are going to have to skip 20 minutes ahead now, because I'm um, getting out of the Moonglade is kind of tough. Anyway, Shrine of Remulos is where we need to combine this. And now my hearthstone's gone, you know. I got 20 minutes left before I can do that. I was afraid it wouldn't take an hour. So, if you guys are here for the follow along, you got two options. You can either try to make it out of Moonglade by walking, or wait 20 minutes in hearthstone. That'll be the easiest way. Just give yourself like a go watch an episode of The Simpsons or something. It hurts. Oh wait, you know what? General goods. I need maple seeds. That's not general goods, is it? Who's? Where's the seed vendor? Food and drink. Anybody who's actually done this any time at all recently is gonna be like, son of a booger, hubster. How, how do you you pass the guy like six times? The guy that has seeds. And I'm going to be like, whoops. Uh -huh, I was just testing you. Yeah. Gotcha. You you obviously know. No, really. I don't, I don't have any idea. Probably already talked to whoever it was. Feel free to browse. I know I've already talked to you. But I need seeds. You don't have seeds. Good luck, friend. Food and drink. Do you have seeds? If you have seeds, I'm gonna be pissed. Didn't think May so. the stars guide you. All right, never mind. I'm on, I'm just, I'm not buying seeds here. I'll do it somewhere else. It's fine. Combine the two halves. Somehow. Here we go. Ta da! Pendant of the Sea Lion. And because I'm lazy, we're just teleporting back to him. on my way food. I'm listening. Trial of the sea lion. For a level 16, this is actually a really good belt. May the stars guide no, I'm level 20 and it's still a decent belt. Alright. Farewell. Привет, Vadim. Sorry, I don't speak very good Russian. That's about all I know, actually. So, you know, that's, that'll be the end of our Russian communication right there. That was fun. What brings you here? <gasps> you can fly to Thunderbluff? Oh, gosh. 
I'll take it all back, boys and girls. You totally didn't have to skip ahead or anything, you know. Don't worry about it. Herbalist. Yeah, you know what? I don't know who sells seeds here. Screw it. I'm going to Thunder Bluff. Uh, I've been... So that's gonna be... a decent-sized flight. Literally probably could have waited the ten more minutes anyway. Привет. There's not a whole lot that I know in Russian, but the next thing I know is like a Russian cuss word. It's like "idi na khui, and that's not a nice thing to say, I don't think. Russians are meddling with the stream now? What do you mean? Oh, <laughs> just in here ch chatting it up. It's all good. Oh, never mind. I'm an idiot. I get what you're trying to say. I almost missed that reference very bigly. <laughs> that would have been a huge mistake. was a gnome mage. Level 17. But we're in Darkshore. I wouldn't have been able to attack him anyway. See, this is this is a prime example. I have somewhere on the ground, there it is right there, I have a shadow, it's, and if they have high detailed dynamic shadows on, right now anyone who's in this town, like all of the Alliance players, would know that this is a horde guy flying over. All those guys fishing right there, they would know, oh a horde guy just flew over me, I wonder where he's going. And in a contested zone they could be like, hmm, he's about to land a Torin Mill, let's go, uh, you know. That's a bad example, but let's go uh, hide and wait for him and, you know, kill him when he comes out to quest. So these shadows are actually really handy, if you think about it and use them properly. <laughs> you like my references there, Vic? They won't use shadows against you? Ah, maybe. I do feel like the Alliance side had some better writing for some of its low-level quests. I feel like some of the horde quests were just kind of thrown together at the end. Green Jesus. Oh, you mean uh, Sour Fang? Sour Fang's awesome. He's so good. <laughs> Who are you talking about then, Senna? 
And also, why aren't you in here playing with us yet? This foliage is out of control. <laughs> That's why I don't have mine fully turned up. Because it does look ridiculous when you got it fully turned up. That's the one thing, like the one setting I don't have maxed out, I think. If I can get into the stupid beta, I'll try it. You could try it with retail. If your computer can run retail, if Larry or whatever your piece of crap computer can run retail, then you can definitely run classic. Classic is a way smaller client, way easier. So that would be a good test. Um, but you know what you need to do, Senna? You know what you need to do, Mr. Cameron Diaz? You need to fix Jerry, your computer. All it needs is like a motherboard or something. It's like 80 bucks. Go. You've been getting lots of overtime. 80 bucks. Go, go, go. Yeah, the shadows are great. Like I said, I've, I've been using shadows to tell when people are flying over. And all it's going to take is me memorizing each one of the, like, griffin and hippogriffin shadows. Because there's manticores, bats... And that's the Horde side, and in vanilla there's Griffins and Hippogriffins. I just spent eighty dollars on shoe. I'm gonna rocket punch you in the nutsack. Falcon punch! Fix your damn PC. I swear, you deserve a Falcon punch to the nutsack. For your sake and the sake of all of us, I hope some benign benefactor does that for you the one unrealistic thing about the shadow is that's that shadow is exactly proportionate and that far away no matter what if the light source were up there and it were and the shadow were way down there the shadow would be magnified by a lot like it'd be a much bigger shadow all right so here we are We got more quests over here and watch my call now.
Greetings. Yeah, let me know how that goes for you, Senna. Booyah! Aqua form! Oh, that's sad days. Alright. Seek training of the druid. Yep, that's all done. What? King! Kingston! Thank you for the donation, you sexy, sexy bassin. I love you. Very much. Very much sexy. You and Vic. You both tossed tossing two dollars i'm gonna i'm gonna need to go get the nipple tassels if you keep that up guys there you have it boys and girls aqua form check it out we can't swim on land how about that but anyway that's how you get your sea lion form and i'll try to find some water real quick and then go for a little swim i think there's some water in the uh spirit rise underneath i'm gonna go check that out You following me? What brings you here? Well, over the where the banker is. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. I'm literally like right by that too. That's a little bitty pool, though, isn't it? Like a little bitty pool. It'll work, though. That's perfect. And there you have it, boys and girls, Aquaform, in all of its beauty and glory and la-di-da. Does it have a dance? No. Sad days. So, that's how you get your Aquaform. Hopefully that did everybody pretty good. And that'll be the end of this, uh, how to get your sea lion slash Aquaform as a druid.